The following is a paid program, and the views expressed on this show do not represent the views of WJZ-FM, Intercom Communications, its sponsors, or affiliates. The following is a pre-recorded show. Welcome to Winning in Retirement with your host, Brian Akers, certified financial planner professional and founder of Akers Financial Group. Now, helping you win in your retirement, here's Brian Akers. Hello, I'm Brian Akers. Welcome to Winning in Retirement. I'm a certified financial planner professional and then founder of Acres Financial Group. Our show is Winning in Retirement. We want you to be winning in retirement. So we invite experts like our certified financial plan, planner practitioner, Alex Monk. He's here with me today to go over a very important topic. So let's say hello to Alex. Good morning, Alex. Morning, Brian. How you doing? Doing all right. Doing all right. So today is a special show that we are going to really work hard to come across with a topic that's going to sort of punch you in the face a little bit and then sort of give you answers, hopefully, as you go through. The, the topic today is this. You have to be a millionaire. You've probably seen the game show. Who wants to be a man, millionaire? But when it comes to your retirement, you have to be a millionaire. What do you think of this topic, Alex? So that's a, that's a big number for a lot of people, Brian, and, and it can be a little intimidating, don't you think? A million dollars it seemed like a crazy goal, and I know 30 years ago when I first started financial planning, a million dollars seemed rare to have a millionaire client. Now it seems to be something that is a norm to be at least a millionaire, to become someone who's going to be very successful in retirement years. I had a real odd meeting, Brian, where I had to tell a guy that had a little bit over a million dollars that he didn't have enough to retire early. He thought that that was going to be enough. And the math just simply doesn't make sense if you're trying to retire early. I know that we like to tell people, if you're touching your principal before you're 70, you really need to make sure you know what you're doing. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, that person, how old were they? What what age were they shooting for? Um, He wanted to retire at 60-ish. Okay, 60-ish. So, What happens is, and we try to cover in our show, is this, is that knowing your number, we really don't ever push having a million dollars as a goal. We push what is your need as the main number to worry about. But the reality is that we do keep score day by day on our retirement savings and net worth. At least we hope you're doing that. And what happens is this. Some people think, well, I have to have a goal of 200000 to save. So what I want to talk about a little bit, Alex, is this. The topic is you have to be a millionaire. Now, why does someone have to be a millionaire? What is the fundamentals behind that statement? Well, if you use the rule of 4%, Brian, and you need $40,000 a year, you need a million dollars. Now, you may have Social Security, so that can give you you know, additional income on top of the, the 40000 off of a million, but... If you don't have a pension, you need cash, and that cash has to provide that income. Taking out more than 4%, you're not going to really give things a chance to grow. You're going to start tapping into principal early, and there's no way to compete with inflation in that scenario. Right, so we say you have to be a millionaire. Are we talking about someone retiring this year, or should we sort of quantify this to someone in their 50s? Yeah, so the math on it today is it's not quite a million dollars, but if you're 10, maybe 15 years out, and some would say we're going into a inflation environment, which we've never been in, a million bucks is going to be kind of the minimum that you're going to need. Yeah, actually, absolutely, to be able to maintain that income throughout retirement. One of the, there's a lot of key ingredients to retirement. So we want you to be winning in retirement. To win in retirement, there has to be enough money. So some of the assumptions on you have to be a millionaire is this. If you do not have pensions or any other source of income that's going to be provided during your retirement years, and you only have Social Security, you then need to look at your bills, your expenses, and that's where your investments need to fill in the gap. To fill in that gap means a million dollars just simply at 4% withdrawal rate would be um, 
basically 40,000 bucks a year, and that's usually pre-tax. So there's a lot of comments about millionaire and what kind of million dollars you have to have. But when you're saving and building your goals, you really got to build and save your money. We recommend a bunch of things when you're doing this, but the key thing is this. Your Social Security estimate, 74% of Americans start drawing Social Security at 62. Social Security will probably only rise by 1% throughout the, those retirement years. And if someone's going to be retired in, well into their 80s, that's 25 to 30 years of retirement that we need to cover. And so we have a lot of variables into the plan. But if you're looking at a target of a million dollars, you need to start early and save often. And you need to have your money working for you to reach that goal. So, Alex, what do you feel about um, millionaires uh, having a million-dollar number for someone who's under age 60? Is that a, a good enough number? What, what's your opinion? I, I think, you know, if someone really wants to use a, a number as a target, it's a good place to start. Um, I know that we've seen clients that have, you know, high income earners in their life. If they want to keep that same lifestyle, they may need more than that. Absolutely. Yeah, when you say high income earners, let's say somebody's making three, four hundred thousand a year, and you look at that and you want to maintain that lifestyle in and through your retirement years. And if you don't have a pension tied to your um, cash flow of retirement, you then have to have it all in savings. So roughly, if if someone had two and a half million saved, um, four percent would be around a hundred thousand dollars a year. Is that? Right, so 4% is 40, 40 plus 20, there you go, that's 100 grand. Okay. So if you want 10,000 a month, you need 120, so you're closer to the $3 million number. Yeah, absolutely. Some of the hardest things that we have is realistic expectations when it comes to what's going on in life and what's going on when you, we do our, our um their answers to retirement. So to win in retirement, the key thing is having enough money to pay your bills and to know where you are. So there's the show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Does the person walking out of that show, Alex, do they walk out a millionaire? What happens in that type of show? Well, they walk out winning a million dollars, but they don't know how much of that is theirs. Yeah. It turns out it's about 55% once you pay all the tax on it. Right, because they receive that million dollars in one year, or many times the shows are given that money over a 20 or a 40 year payment. Right, so the lump sum versus the 20 year payment is, is a much lower number. Um, they use present value calculations. I mean, the person still wins a good bit of money, but it's not a full million dollars. And that's very similar to having a million dollars inside of your 401k and it's never been taxed. You'd have a real hard time getting a million dollars out of that 401k without Uncle Sam knowing. Absolutely. There's so many variables in the million dollars. And so throughout the show today, what we're going to be working on is this. We're going to talk about, do you have, a, do you have to be a millionaire to retire? We believe that many people under 60 have to be a millionaire to reach that goal of retirement because they don't have pensions. The reality is that these pensions are worth a million dollars to many people. If you're getting a pension of, of 3000 a month, 3600 a month, that is probably worth around a million dollars of lump sum dollars. Now, if you're doing your calculations on present, present value, it's all about age and interest rates. There's a lot more to the calculation. But today we're just talking the simple concept, and that is this. You have to be a millionaire. When we see that game show, it's exciting to watch someone try to win. And when they win, it's very exciting for them, a million dollars. Some people believe that everything's set once I get a million dollars. And the reality is that a million dollars spins very, very quickly. What's your opinion on, on how fast a million dollars spins? You know, if you're retiring early and you don't have a pension that provides health care, a million dollars is probably not enough. The math on it is it's so that if you touch your principal early, you're going to have a real hard time making that money last. And everyone, you know, they, they want to milk the cow. You don't want to slaughter the cow first day. 
and if that million dollars is your cow, you can't cut its leg off the first week you own it. Just not going to last. And that's the real scary part is when you see people that they think it's enough money, but they don't realize just because it's a big number, you know, it's a millionaire, it's kind of a, a mental thing. It's probably not enough money. I ask people all the time, I said, what's more money, half a million or 500,000? And, you know, they're the same amount, but a lot of people will say, well, half a million sounds like more. <laughs> Is that the whole half full um, type comment there? Yeah, it's just something about that word million that's kind of, it makes it seem like a bigger number. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. I mean, it sure sounds nice. Um, it is enjoyable when you get a client and you, you show them their net worth hitting a million for the first time. Um, it's pretty neat to to go over that with them. Um, there's so much um, to talk about here, and we have a, a long show to get to talk about this. We have a lot of things to really talk about. What we want to do at this time is we want you to think about how you're thinking. Maybe you're currently in a reaction mode, defensive in every way. It is like you're sitting on the sofa and you keep moving back and back and back, retracting, or basically reacting in a negative way by falling back. That's defensive. What we need to be doing right now is to sit up, sit forward, be creating in your life. What people need to do to get through these things that are going on all around us and to be in the best shape when we come out of this is to take advantage of, of good opportunities, to be in a creating mode. It's your choice to do this. We want to help you win in retirement. So take advantage of an opportunity to, to begin planning with us at Acres Financial Group. Schedule your free phone or video meeting by calling us at 833-WIN-RETIRE. That's 833-W-I-N-R-E-T-I-R-E. -E. When you call, you'll leave a voice message, and soon as Susan will call you back on Monday to schedule a phone or video message. Call 833-946-7384 or go to our website at acresfinancial.com. So, you have a million bucks. Do you really have a million dollars? Or do you and Uncle Sam have a million dollars? We will explain this and much more after this. The choice of your child's school is vitally important. Wouldn't you go a few more miles for something really special? I'm Brian Wilson, principal of Harford Christian School. Harford Christian is an independent school in northern Harford County, serving students in preschool through 12th grade. Our Uncommon Core makes all the difference. For nearly 50 years, we've partnered with parents in the important responsibility of training children in God's truth. Our biblical worldview stands in stark contrast against today's culture. At HCS, political correctness is never prioritized above God's unchanging truth. We hold the bar high as we prepare students to serve God's kingdom, not just the workplace of man. Affordable tuition and transportation options put the choice of Christian education within your reach. Come visit the longest established Christian school in Harford County. You can become acquainted with us through a private tour or on the web at harfordchristian.org. You are unique. Just as no two fingerprints are alike, each individual's financial situation is uniquely their own. That's why the Acres Financial Group's team of advisors begins each relationship with a proven process that identifies your financial fingerprint. We'll guide you through a series of steps designed to provide a complete and accurate snapshot of where you are right now. Everything we learn about your financial fingerprint will become part of a detailed financial plan created especially for you. We'll never give you a cookie cutter proposal or suggest a one size fits all portfolio. The financial plan takes you from where you are now to where you need to be. Begin by discovering your financial fingerprint right now by going to GetMyFinancialFingerprint.com. That's GetMyFinancialFingerprint.com. Member FINRA SIPC. Are there times in some games you wish you could just turn on the TV at the two-minute warning? Because that's the most important part of the game, right? As a fan, these are the most exciting moments. Your team could take home the victory or crumble under pressure. But when it comes to your retirement, don't wait until the last two minutes. So much can happen in the final working years before retirement. 
Whether you're in your 50s or 60s, near or already in retirement, there's still time to put a plan in place. Don't wait until right before you retire to begin planning for your future. Can you win the retirement game like that? Come in and talk with the team at Acres Financial Group. They've been helping families in Maryland plan for retirement for over 30 years. Call to schedule your complimentary meeting at 833-WIN-RETIRE. The number again is 833-WIN-RETIRE. Start planning for your retirement now. Call 833-946-7384. Member FINRA SIPC. You're listening to a pre-recorded show. Welcome back to Winning in Retirement. Call 833-WIN-RETIRE now to schedule a visit with Brian and his team and begin winning in retirement. Once again, here's Brian Akers. Welcome back to Winning in Retirement. I'm Brian Akers. Here with me today is Alex Monk. We're certified financial planner practitioners from Akers Financial Group. Today we are covering a topic that's very important to us. And that is that you have to be a millionaire. You've probably seen the game show, and who wants to be a millionaire? Well, when it comes to your retirement, you have to be a millionaire. Alex Monk's here as one of our experts from Acres Financial Group. And I wanted Alex to begin by answering the following question. And that is, so you have a million dollars. Do you really have a million dollars? And do you and Uncle Sam, or do you and Uncle Sam have a million dollars together? What do you think, Alex? Yeah, so Brian... Uncle Sam's got his hand in that million dollars. So, depending on how you take that money out, if it's all pre-tax, if you take it out of one shot, you may have 600000 500000 If you take it out slowly, you know, you may be able to get somewhere in the 70 to 80% out. Um, sometimes higher, depending on where your other income is. But a million dollars... If it has not been taxed, meaning if it's not in a taxable account or a Roth IRA, if it's all pre-tax in a company plan or 401k IRA, you have a tax debt along with that money. And there's no good way around it. You have a tax debt. So what's uh, what's an example, I guess? Uh, When somebody retires and they've saved everything pre-tax, they see their statement that says a million dollars, but when they take it out, how much do they really get? Well, living here in Maryland, you got to pay the state. Okay. And then most likely you're going to be at least in the, the 12% tax bracket if you have other income. So that puts you somewhere right around, you get 80% of your money. The it's more easy. you... You're using 12% federal and around 7 8% Maryland. So 20% is gone off the top. And so right. you get the net. And if in retirement you don't withhold on the payments, you're going to owe later. Um, now Maryland has uh, some exemptions at 65 for pensions and Social Security, but there's really no um, prevention of taxation on money that is coming out of your retirement accounts. So it's not something we're going to be able to escape in retirement years, right? No, not at all. Um, one thing that we like to do is pay some of that debt early. And and that could be a, a Roth conversion. And what the Roth does is you pay the tax now, for example, while you're still working or while one spouse is working or as life is changing, you know, do some tax planning, see where you're going to fall. Now, you don't want to pay more tax than you have to, so you got to see where you're going to fall bracket-wise. And then convert it to Roth, pay the tax now, and you're prepaying your future tax debt. Yeah, I mean, the Roth conversion is a very important concept that people have to do at the right times. And many times... That can happen if you are well diversified with your money. Diversification, I mean in different types of buckets. If you have cash, you can do Roth conversions. If we don't have cash, you really shouldn't consider Roth conversions. Because one of the things about a Roth conversion is you take money out of your retirement account, out of your IRA, you pay tax that year. That money needs to come out of another bucket. You need to have the cash to pay the tax. If you use your IRA or retirement fund to pay the tax on a Roth conversion, it really doesn't ever catch up 
if you run the math on it. So when you're when you're doing Roth conversions or thinking about it, you, there are times in life where you might have lower income, and those are really good years to consider Roth conversions. The year 2020, perhaps your income's down, and if your income's down and you still have some cash, maybe 2020 is your Roth conversion year, and there might be a right number that you can convert. So at Acres Financial Group. Um, Alex is one of the guys that we have calculate that tax estimate. You try to keep people in a bracket. Explain what goes through the process of figuring out if a Roth conversion fits or not. All right. So we, we kind of look at the current tax year uh, and get an estimate. Now, recently they've changed the law, so you can't go backwards when you convert. So we typically like to do it later in the year unless it's a situation where we're trying to convert something while it's down so that would be a market investment but you got to find out where the income is going to fall and whatever that taxable income number is you don't want to push someone from the 12 percent tax bracket to the 22 percent tax bracket and you don't want to do anything that's going to have waterfall taxation the following year like increasing their Medicare or, or things like that without knowing about it. So let's just assume that someone can convert up to, you know, roughly 30,000 and still stay in the 12% tax bracket because of where their income falls that year. They'd be an ideal candidate to look at converting money to Roth, especially if they don't need it that year and they have the cash outside to pay it. Now, a lot of people assume, oh, the money that I'm converting, I'll just use some of that to pay the taxes. But like you said earlier, Brian, the math doesn't make sense on using the money you're paying tax on to pay the taxes. Yeah, it takes a possible break even that could be eight or nine years on a Roth conversion and basically eliminates the break even completely. Um, some of the other reasons consider Roth conversion is this. You need to have multiple sources of income in retirement. You want to have some money that's tax-free. You need to make it tax-free. Roth conversion is one way. The other way is, is properly designed life insurance. Now, a Roth conversion or Roth contributions, put money in, but you got to pay tax now. The tax rates we have in 2020, we believe will be some of the best tax rates you'll have in your life. The future tax rates will rise. We must be ready for that by making some tough decisions in year 2020. Imagine that 20% is the 22% bracket. Uh, we're not going to hear that 20% bracket much, much longer. It's going to go back in 2026, but that's just under the current law. We think tax rates will rise, and that's going to be something that we're not going to be able to shy away from. So we need to make some big decisions and so one way to get to a million dollars is to make sure that million is your million and that you're not sharing it with Uncle Sam. That's exactly right, Brian. We don't know what future tax rates are going to be. But when we see things like, you know, government money printing, uh, we know we're running out of deficit. Logically, the tax rates will need to rise. And it's one of the variables in a retirement plan that you can get out in front of by tax planning properly, you know, under the rules that we currently have. If we can make these unknown variables a known variable and pay the tax ahead, it puts us, you know, in a much, I would say, less risky situation of taxes ruining the plan down the road. Taxes, taxes, taxes. They're always coming for it. So our comment right now is this, pay tax now and never again. That is going to be a concept that we push hard for this year for our clients, for the listeners, for anyone that would like more information on this, you can always um, talk to Acres Financial Group. That's really how you begin a process of going through this. We have a great website, acresfinancial.com. On that website has many different um, sources of, of information, also a way to contact us. But you have to say, well, I want to be a millionaire because I have to be a millionaire. I want to set aside money. I want it to grow. I want to be able to have money to meet all of my goals in the future. 
You have to start now to be able to create this. So Alex was talking about taxes. We're talking about if you save a million bucks and then owe, let's say, 20, 30 percent to taxes, it's only worth seven, 700,000. And that's a big difference between gross income and net. So like if someone has a half a million dollars, Alex, um, how would you explain gross versus net on a half a million dollars? Well, if the math's a little bit easier, you could use just 100,000 roughly would be your, your 20%. And that gives you 20,000 a year minus your 25%. So, you know, you're looking at ugh, 16, 16 grand a year. Yeah, about thirteen hundred bucks a month, and that's not like when you start with the big numbers and then break it down to a monthly amount. You really realize it's not as much money as you thought, and you got to know what you're spending because the math going over that four percent. If you're pulling five, six, seven in your early years of retirement, it's a tough calculation to make it. Absolutely. Um, when it comes to saving that money and withdrawing, they all work together. So proper planning is where you truly look at what's going on in life. You look at what you're doing and you need to, to change your plan now and get started. The best part of actual retirement is getting your time back. We've been able to experience some of that recently with some extra time. Before retirement, your time is usually tied up with a lot of other commitments, mainly your job. A lot of that goes away when you're retired. So what we want you to do is this. You need to be winning in your retirement, and you need to know that you're going to win in your retirement. Give us a call at 833-WIN-RETIRE. That's 833-W-I-N-R-E-T-I-R-E. When you call, leave us a voice message, and Susan will call you back on Monday to schedule a phone or video meeting where we talk about your situation. You can call us at 833-946-7384 or visit acresfinancial.com. How do you eat an elephant? We'll try to explain why and many other things right after this. Imagine you're retired. You wake up in the morning and you don't even know what day it is. Every day seems like a Saturday. You can sleep in, cook a nice full breakfast without thinking about morning traffic or work deadlines. The Saturday calmness you used to crave is now your everyday feeling. You're not worried about your retirement income or how your investments are doing. Your biggest decision that day is where you're going to drink that first cup of coffee. Is that the kind of retirement you want? If it is, then sit down and talk with the team at Acres Financial Group. They want to help you get there. They've been helping families in Maryland plan for retirement for over 30 years. Call to schedule your complimentary meeting at 833-WIN-RETIRE. The number again is 833-WIN-RETIRE. Start planning for your retirement now. Call 833-946-7384. Member FINRA SIPC. Acres Financial Group was founded on the principles of integrity, trust, and service. We believe each and every client is unique and deserves advice and implementations that apply directly towards their personal financial fingerprint. This financial fingerprint tells us the objective risk tolerance and purpose of the investment and insurance tools that we use to assist their clients in reaching their goals by discovering the purpose of each financial decision. We can help you accomplish your goals. Intelligent financial design starts with a detailed balance sheet and cash flow to know where to start. This leads to a financial decision that will allow you to reach your goals with your risk tolerance in mind. Our relationships begin with an initial consultation and grows with each meeting. We would be thrilled to work with you and begin your planning process. Call us at 833-WIN-RETIRE. That's 833-946-7384. Or visit our website at acresfinancial.com. Member FINRA SIPC. Hi, this is Jesse Cunningham, the owner of Mountain View Insurance. And we are proud to be affiliated with Acres Financial Group. We, too, base our business on integrity, service, and acknowledge that every client's insurance needs are unique to their own situation. At Mountain View Insurance, we specialize in car insurance, home insurance, and umbrella coverages, all designed to protect your assets that you've worked so hard to earn. When serving our clients, we focus on creating a protection plan that is appropriate to your needs. After we determine the correct plan, we then go to shop for you. Mountain View Insurance is an independent insurance brokerage, and that means we have access to many top national and regional insurance carriers. 
Let us build an appropriate and affordable insurance plan for you and give us a call directly at 410-262-3176. Once again, that's 410-262-3176. This is Jesse Cunningham, owner of Mountain View Insurance, and I look forward to hearing from you. You're listening to a pre-recorded show. Welcome back to Winning in Retirement. Call 833-WIN-RETIRE now to schedule a visit with Brian and his team and begin winning in retirement. Brian Akers of Akers Financial Group is a registered representative offering securities through Kalos Capital Incorporated and investment advisory services through Kalos Management Incorporated. Akers Financial Group is not an affiliate or subsidiary of Kalos Capital or Kalos management and does not provide tax and legal services. Advice given on winning in retirement is general in nature and one should seek further advice from their financial advisor, broker, attorney, or tax accountant before investing. Be sure to read each prospectus carefully to understand all the risks associated with each investment. Once again, here's Brian Akers. Yes, indeed. Welcome back to Winning in Retirement. I'm Brian Akers. Here with me today is Alex Monk, certified financial planner and professionals at Akers Financial Group. So Alex, you still doing all right? It's halftime already. You warmed up? Oh, yeah. This is where I all get right. ready. They always say winter's closed. Winter's closed. All right. So sometimes some people will still let the game come to them in the first half. The second half, you got to bring the game to them. At Acres Financial Group, our radio show is called Winning in Retirement. Why? Because we want our clients to be winning. To win is a process. It takes a lot of work. Yes, indeed, it takes practice. The show today is just about this concept. It's this way. It goes this way. You have to be a millionaire. You've probably seen the game show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Well, when it comes to your retirement, you have to be a millionaire. Before last break, I had left with this question, and that question was this. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't even say it properly without laughing. How do you eat an elephant? And then Alex is going to explain how to eat an elephant because he's probably done that because he honeymooned in Bali. Bali? Yeah, I, I didn't eat an elephant, but I was on one, and her name was elephant. Anna. Okay, missed the. And story. I was terrified. They um, are huge, wonderful animals. Um, this uh, this show is PETA approved in that we're not eating an elephant at all. It's a concept. <laughs> How do you explain the concept, uh, Alex? So, if it, it, it's tough, right? It, you hear hear saying the, the word million dollars, and you're like, "Well, I'm only halfway there." or three quarters of the way there, or I'm not even started yet. That's a huge number. And just like eating an elephant, I'm sure you can't do it in one day. You gotta start one bite at a time. One and bite at a is, time, that's exactly it. You got it, ding, ding, ding. That's the winning, cl- winning, the winning saying, is one bite at a time on how do you eat an elephant. It's also the way you become a millionaire. Uh, what things, one of the things we're doing today is this. We have a text line. That text line is 22828. If you text when retired to 22828, you can get the following. The following is this, a link to our how to be a millionaire calculator. It's a, basically a way to calculate what you need to do to get to a million dollars. So if you would like information, we'll text you. And texting you back in response, we'll give you the, this link to how to calc- in the calculator on about how to be a millionaire. So what you got to do is this. You text when retire one word, and you text that to 22828, 22828 to get that calculator. Now, I've done some figuring, and when I'm thinking about eating an elephant, you got to think, well, how do you become a millionaire? So let's use some assumptions of someone that starts at zero, and we're going to try to invest at 8%, which means they have to grow their money it has to be in conservative or aggressive stocks, which we're going to cover that in a minute. But I did some basic math, and it goes like this. If you are 25 years old and you want, want to have a million dollars by 67 years old, you need to start saving $250 a month for 42 years to get to a million dollars. How about that number? How about this one? If you're 34 and you want to get to a million dollars at 64, what you need, at 67, what you need to do is save $500 a month. $500 a month for the next 33 years at 8% to get you to a million dollars by 67. Let's say you're 41 and you want, you can save a thousand a month and that'll get you to a million dollars at 67 at 8%. 
And then, of course, there's the person that is 55, not, not 55, 46 years old, and we need to save 1500 a month to get to a million dollars at 8%. So these are just some simple numbers on how to take a bite and get building to retirement. Hopefully you're not starting at zero like that calculation did. Uh, what do you think about taking a bite like this, Alex? Well, I think your numbers said a lot there, Brian. The younger you start, the less you have to save. And that's yeah. the effect of your money working for you. Now, if you're not in that scenario, you at least need to know what the number is and try to get as close to it as possible. And 8%, I mean, 8% is a tough number if the market doesn't do, you know, 8% every year. If you, know, you, you need help to get your investments aligned so that you can focus on that plan and grow. And those savings, those monthly savings, it becomes a good habit, right? So each time you, you throw that 250 bucks or a thousand bucks away towards your future, you're taking a bite out of that elephant. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and we you, gotta that, start biting. Good, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta eat and then you gotta know, okay, well, what I'm, where am I starting? Where am I putting this money? Do I need this long-term growth? Okay, well then you need to be aggressive. You need to, to use stocks and, and things that you may not know much about because that's going to give us those rate of returns that we need in order to get to where we want to be. Some of the fundamental problems we've seen is that at your retirement savings at work, which one of the easiest ways to start doing this, they get thrown into target date funds at a young age and they're saving to a money market with 25, 30 years, 40 years ahead of them. And we just think it's fundamentally wrong to be thrown into these um, allocation buckets that don't apply to their actual goals. Right. There's, there's no rhyme or reason out there to how someone should be invested. It's all based on their personal situation. Every person I meet that's 50 years old does not have the same risk tolerance, does not have the same goals, needs, and wants. So how could you say everyone this age needs to be in that, that type of fund? It's not the right answer. Your money is a very personal thing. As hard as people work for their checks and, and every month to, to earn a living, I think that they should put that same type of care into how they're saving their money. Yeah, that care. Uh, when you say care, what do you mean by that? I mean, you need to you need to pay attention to it and take it serious. You, you don't have to be 60 to start thinking about retirement. If that's the thought, then, you know, it's it's late in the game. Every dollar you make is valuable to you. It's something you you gave up your time and your effort for. So you want that money to be working for you now. And that's the whole plan. Yeah, absolutely. The thing is this, is that that person, the client has to begin to care because no one else will care as much about their own money as them. So you gotta take responsibility from wherever you are at this exact moment. Maybe you're in a situation where um, things are really tight. You need to take responsibility and start to care now and save the five bucks, save 10 bucks, do everything you can to put money aside for your future. You have to care because we're trying to make, your, make you into a, a success at retirement and so that if things happen in life, there's money to help you through things. So we want you to care about where you are. We want you to care and to know your numbers. It takes this doing that really has to occur in your life. Now you like I'm explaining to people about how to grow your assets and how to invest uh, what are some key ingredients to investing that you recommend, Alex? Well, it's, it's given money purpose and, and understanding what it's there to do. I like what you said there. No one's going to care about your money like you. Now, being a fiduciary, as you are and I am, we're always going to give people guidance, right? We're, we're the, the coaching relationship side of it. 
and we want to do what we think is in their best interest to meet their goals, but still, they're the ones that have to make that ultimate decision. We're going to show you different ways of doing it and see how that may fit into your plan, but if you're, if you need a, a roadmap on how to save, you're probably not a financial advisor. You need to do to reach out and see who can help you the same way you would if you know you broke your leg or your foot fell off. You would go see a doctor, right? Typically, when the foot's off, I'm I'm going. I agree. <laughs> well, I agree. money should be the same way, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm stuck on the foot falling off. All right, so <laughs> yes, money should be the same way or better. Um, all right, so during this segment, we've ate an elephant and our foot fell off. So, but we do need to start caring, right? Absolutely. You know, life is weird like that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so we're telling everyone that you really, really, truly have to be a millionaire. If you're in your 50s now and don't have a pension, if you want to win in retirement, you have to be a millionaire. How do you start? Oh my, you got to start now. You got to get saving. You got to put money aside. There's a lot of stuff that needs to happen. Let me tell you about Acres Financial Group. We are local. We are independent. We do not report to a big company. We report to you. We have offices in Farstill and Harford County and Lutherville. You obviously will not be coming into the office right now, but hopefully you will in the near future. This is all about your retirement, not about us. To begin winning in retirement, call us at 833-WIN-RETIRE. That's 833-W-I-N-R-E-T-I-R-E. -E. When you call, leave us a voice message, and Susan will call you back on Monday to schedule a phone or video meeting. We look forward to when you can come in and see us, and honestly, we prefer to do it that way without masks. So we'll see how that goes. But for now, we'll schedule a phone or video call, a video meeting with you. Start planning for your retirement now by calling 833-946-7384 or go to acresfinancial.com. Will a million dollars be enough for you? We'll talk about that right after this. You are unique. Just as no two fingerprints are alike, each individual's financial situation is uniquely their own. That's why the Acres Financial Group's team of advisors begins each relationship with a proven process that identifies your financial fingerprint. We'll guide you through a series of steps designed to provide a complete and accurate snapshot of where you are right now. Everything we learn about your financial fingerprint will become part of a detailed financial plan created especially for you. We'll never give you a cookie cutter proposal or suggest a one size fits all portfolio. The financial plan takes you from where you are now to where you need to be. Begin by discovering your financial fingerprint right now by going to GetMyFinancialFingerprint.com. That's GetMyFinancialFingerprint.com. Member FINRA SIPC. Imagine you're retired. You wake up in the morning and you don't even know what day it is. Every day seems like a Saturday. You can sleep in, cook a nice full breakfast without thinking about morning traffic or work deadlines. The Saturday calmness you used to crave is now your everyday feeling. You're not worried about your retirement income or how your investments are doing. Your biggest decision that day is where you're going to drink that first cup of coffee. Is that the kind of retirement you want? If it is, then sit down and talk with the team at Acres Financial Group. They want to help you get there. They've been helping families in Maryland plan for retirement for over 30 years. Call to schedule your complimentary meeting at 833-WIN-RETIRE. The number again is 833-WIN-RETIRE. Start planning for your retirement now. Call 833-946-7384. Member FINRA SIPC. Long before 18-year-old Brooks Robinson was signed to play third base, and years before Natty Bow began brewing at the corner of Conkling and O'Donnell Streets, Baltimore families relied on the Evans family and the Evans Funeral Chapel and cremation services to help them during some of their most important family moments. Hi, I'm Charlie Evans, and for four generations, my family and I have been there for families, providing care and compassion in their time of need. Evans Funeral Chapel and Cremation Services provides the best facility, staff, and personalized service for your family. We have three convenient locations to serve the community, Parkville, Forest Hill, and Hereford. 
For more information, visit us online at evansfuneralchapel.com or call 410-665-9444. Evans Funeral Chapel and Cremation Services, serving Baltimore families since 1865. I invite your confidence. You're listening to a pre-recorded show. Welcome back to Winning in Retirement. Call 833-WIN-RETIRE now to schedule a visit with Brian and his team and begin winning in retirement. Once again, here's Brian Akers. Welcome back to Winning in Retirement. I'm Brian Akers. Here with me today is Alex Monk. We're experienced financial advisors through Akers Financial Group. What we'd like to recommend to you today is this. If you've been listening the whole way through, that's good. If you haven't been and you just started listening, this show has been about the topic of you have to be a millionaire. If you want to hear what we've said throughout the show, you can go to our website at acresfinancial.com. There's a radio tab and then you can see, you can hear, and I have to see our recording, that'd be pretty funny, but you can hear our recording of our radio shows. The ones we've done in the past and even this week's will be available by mid, mid next week. Then we thank you for Listening through the first three quarters. This is the beginning of the fourth quarter. Are you ready to go, Alex? This is my time to shine, Brian. Your time to shine. I, <laughs> now, t- today's topic is you have to be a millionaire. You've probably seen the game show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? But when it comes to retirement, you have to be an, a, mil- a millionaire. And then I was asking you this question is this. Will a million dollars be enough? <laughs> so, you know, sometimes it is and sometimes it's not. I get nervous when people come in and they want to retire early. They've been living off, like we had this one client a few years ago, probably making around $300,000 a year and spending every dime of it. I mean, when you make 300000 your taxes, you're at a high tax bracket. You lose yeah. thirty in the 35 to 40 some percent range of so the money is gone. And then you live off the rest. And we found it hard for them to save. That's not a good. That's not a good scenario. Yeah. So they were, they're were actually going into further debt, even making that kind of money, rather than saving more and more like some ap- absolute savers do it. They were doing the opposite way. They're building their debt, and so some of the first things we did in those those meetings was, hey, we don't think you can retire. We need you to pay off all these debts before we can begin the conversation of retirement. Because the debt was eating up most of their cash flow. And that is a huge problem if it's not addressed well before retirement. If you can't save now and you're making you know, potentially the most money you're ever going to earn in your career, right? The last job is typically your best job. How are you going to make it when you don't have a paycheck coming in? So that's why you got to pay yourself first. There's a book that I really like. It's called The Millionaire Next Door. And that book is about the habits of a millionaire. The book was written in the setting where a million dollars meant a lot. A million dollars meant you're wealthy, you're going to be in very great shape. But the concepts behind it were great when it came to how does someone get there. And that is about taking when you're making little money. The younger you are, learn to save at the very beginning of your career. 10, 15% of your pay and put that money away with purpose. And that'll dictate a, a, a career that is rewarding and the fact that you'll have money, you won't have spent it all. Well, you know, it, it always seems that when I think back and you just start out your career, you just have enough money to make it. And then as you make more, you still just, you know, you're able, you spend money the same way. So if you start paying yourself early, you never really miss it. The hardest thing for people to do is go from this high expensive lifestyle and cut it back because they've already seen the other side. Yeah, once it begins, once the uh, $20,000 vacations, the fancier car, once those habits begin, it's hard to say no. Um, one of the things I learned early on from a, one of these uh, financial advisors I worked with in my 20s, he said, at a younger age, don't buy a new car. He said, whatever that payment would be, save it. And if you need a car, take your savings and buy a car with that. And that means you buy used for a long time. But he said, over the years, 
what will happen is you'll be paying cash for cars down the road. You'll build investments. You'll have cash flow. But what you're doing is you're basically keeping yourself controlled within limits and not overextending yourself or making your budget a little crazy. And so one of the concepts is your mortgage should be one week of your pay. It shouldn't be beyond that. So buying the right size house, having a car and all these other things that fit into your budget. Um, these are all tough, tough pieces and not fun to talk about. And you know, Brian, some of the wealthiest clients that I have I'm always begging them to go buy a new car because I'm worried that their current car will just break down in the middle of the road. Yep. But <laughs> they feel that, guilty. They feel guilty spending too, spending any money at all. And so you have a combination between debtor and saver. And sometimes people go too far the other way and they never spend it. So that that's not your normal average American on their finances. It's rare for someone to be like that. Right, and they're usually depression era or, you know, near that, you know, they're a little bit older and they have those those life experiences that created those those feelings. And, you know, today it's a lot, a, a lot of societies about the house, the car, you know, all those things. They're all depreciating assets. I mean, it's great to see a cool, huge, big house or, you know, a brand new Maserati, but that... That car is just a car, right? It's not going to be worth much in 10 years. Well, they depreciate um, unless you buy that perfect collector's car, which a lot of, a lot of people do do that, but it's hard. Um, the scariest thing when it comes to retirement planning and winning in retirement is all about priorities and where you want your money to go. The more you spend, the longer you need to work. If you want to retire early, you need to save more. If you want to be a millionaire or have a million bucks so you can get forty, fifty thousand a year, you need to save right away. Save at the beginning. I was talking to one of my clients this week who be, who became a client when he was twenty one years old, and we looked at how he saved. We put a hundred percent to a stock market funds. We saved personal and joint. The personal he's had to use a few times to buy cars, to, to help put a down payment on a house, things like that. But that Roth money was amazing in 15 years how it had actually tripled through the down the downturn of 08 or 09 and then the upturn through those years and then the pullback this year um, it's amazing how 25,000 became 75,000 with him saving money every month we started a habit at 21 of like 100 bucks a month and we just kept moving that number a little higher every year and getting savings put away that is my version for that client of how to take the, how to eat an elephant was to take one bite at a time, save, put that money away. You got to do it. And another way that you can save towards your future is by paying off your debt. If you have a credit card that's you're paying 25% interest on, that is the best investment that you have available to pay that off because there's no investment out there that's going to guarantee you that 25%, but I can guarantee you that the credit card company will charge you interest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a hard thing being in younger cuz if you start going to college, the first time you check your your books and bought books when I was going to college at Virginia Tech, at the end of that line was they stuffed a a free credit card application into my bag. And oh, then I remember make a those phone, days. make a phone call before you know it. You got a free credit card, and then you were spending that free money. Oh yeah, it's free, and then you Absolutely realize you got to pay it. <laughs> yeah, can you believe that? And they want it. They add extra on it, so you got five percent off by using the credit card, and you end up paying twenty some percent back. And it was a lose lose scenario that um, thankfully people learn early in life. Hopefully, now if you're in trouble financially, what you got to do is know where you are. You got to take a look at your situation where you are today and build a game plan. There is a lot of information out there about how to get out of debt. Uh, we like the snowball um, way of reducing debt. That's a, a way of uh, purposely going through and getting rid of debt, rid of debt as quickly as possible. Freeing your cash flow will allow you to save more. The more the more you save, the more you need it to grow. So when people have money to save, what's your quick recommendation on how to grow that money, Alex? I would. Yeah, pick pick. Start simple, right? That the easiest way is is to do something simple. So pick pick your one fund, 
and start saving there consistently. And then as it grows, then you can start to branch off and diversify. Yeah. It's different for everyone because some people have a match. You never want to give up free money. So there's a lot of different <clears throat> things that people have available and they should know how they work. And that's what we do, right? We, we coach people through this. The fourth quarter of our show, you know, it's just like the last 10, five years of, of your working career. You got to prepare and have a game plan if you want to win. And that begins by calling us. You can go to acresfinancial.com and sign up for a time to review and go to a phone or video meeting with us. Have you been enjoying the video meetings, Alex? Yeah, um, the my <laughs> head reflects the light a little bit. All right, so so that's a uh, how do you put it? You really shine in video meetings. Yeah, that's a bald problem. Yeah, well, I like to say I'm large in video meetings, but that's just a, a bad habit of mine, too. But what happens in, in finance is this. We think that you have to have a million dollars saved if you don't have a pension. So you need to do things well and start saving. Because what you're trying to do is to build your retirement. You want your retirement um, to basically have very few worries at that time. You want your biggest worry to be where you're going to drink your coffee and where you're going to eat your bacon. Where every day like seems like a Saturday, which sort of begins the, what this last few months have felt like. Um, retirement income and investments can all be taken care of by Acres Financial Group and their team of advisors. If the future you want, it's not too late to have this kind of future. All you got to do is call Acres Financial Group for a free phone or video meeting at 833-WIN-RETIRE. That's 833-W-I-N-R-E-T-I-R-E. When you call, leave us a voice message, and Susan will call you back on Monday to schedule a phone or video message with one of our team of advisors. We look forward to that. So give us a call at 833-946-7384 or go to acresfinancial.com. Hey, Alex, good show today. Thanks very much for all the information. Always good to see you, Brian. All right, and thank you for listening. I am Brian Akers from Akers Financial Group, and we want you to be winning in retirement. The preceding was a paid program, and the views expressed on this show do not represent the views of WJZFM, Intercom Communications, its sponsors, or affiliates. Knowledge is power. How much better would life be if you had the power to provide a financial umbrella for your family, protect your estate, retire without any lifestyle compromise? Obtaining this kind of knowledge is as easy as making a call to Acres Financial Group. Acres Financial provides comprehensive, innovative, and personalized wealth management services. Call us at 833-WIN-RETIRE. That's 833-946-7384. Or visit our website at acresfinancial.com. Member FINRA SIPC. Acres Financial Group was founded on the principles of integrity, trust, and service. We believe each and every client is unique and deserves advice and implementations that apply directly towards their personal financial fingerprint. This financial fingerprint tells us the objective risk tolerance and purpose of the investment and insurance tools that we use to assist their clients in reaching their goals by discovering the purpose of each financial decision. We can help you accomplish your goals. Intelligent financial design starts with a detailed balance sheet and cash flow to know where to start. This leads to a financial decision that will allow you to reach your goals with your risk tolerance in mind. Our relationships begin with an initial consultation and grows with each meeting. We would be thrilled to work with you and begin your planning process. Call us at 833-WIN-RETIRE. That's 833-946-7384. Or visit our website at acresfinancial.com. Member FINRA SIPC. Are there times in some games you wish you could just turn on the TV at the two-minute warning? Because that's the most important part of the game, right? As a fan, these are the most exciting moments. Your team could take home the victory or crumble under pressure. But when it comes to your retirement, don't wait until the last two minutes. So much can happen in the final working years before retirement. Whether you're in your 50s or 60s, near or already in retirement, there's still time to put a plan in place. Don't wait until right before you retire to begin planning for your future. Can you win the retirement game like that? Come in and talk with the team at Acres Financial Group. They've been helping families in Maryland plan for retirement for over 30 years. Call to schedule your complimentary meeting at 833-WIN-RETIRE. The number again is 833-WIN-RETIRE. Start planning for your retirement now. Call 833-946-7384. Member FINRA SIPC. 
Broadcasting from the Thompson Creek Window Company Studios. High quality windows at an affordable price. Direct from their local factory. This is WJZFM Catonsville, Baltimore. 1057 The Fan. A Radio.com sports station.